Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to a video on Tuesday. Now, um, hey, 24 hours, everything can change, whether or not it's uh, in MCOC uh, or in life. <laughs> I've definitely had a fun 24 hours. Like last night, my entire setup, well not my entire setup, part of it broke. Thank God I got this uh, secondary camera because the other camera and the mounting at the back all went a bit broke. So hi everybody, this is a different angle, not the most nice angle but yeah some things behind the back of me broke so that kind of like meant that i'm i've got to re i've got to redo some stuff with my setup now uh life but that's the thing things happen in life things that you don't expect to happen and that has impacts obviously in what you enjoy whether or not mcc is a pastime for you things you need to allocate time to uh, whether or not you're doing battlegrounds arena i mean i'm in a situation where i've made I've not been playing well in game. I will be brutally honest. I've not been playing well in game. Uh, obviously, this camera's down there like it is. Um, yeah, I've not been playing very well in game uh, at the moment, and that sucks because because when you're free to play, if you make mistakes, you run out of stash, and you and things happen. Then look, I, I don't really know what to say. I, I can't go back in time. I'd love to go back in time and fix kind of playing well when I should when I was playing badly. But yeah, I was playing badly. Um, I'll talk about that in maybe in another video. Uh, it's so weird to have like one good Eternity of Pain Karina's Challenge run and it go well and then do it second time and just, yeah, just not play well. I'm just not playing well at the moment and it's annoying. It's annoying when it happens, um, but we carry on, we carry on. But that's not what this is all about. Well, it slightly is what, it, what it's all about. And that is uh, this interesting thread here. A discussion in the community about uh, battlegrounds um, from give me a beer and uh, they say so I'm not exactly sure how, how I want to start the the post as there's so many factors to consider the overarching theme is night after night when I finally have a stretch of time to sit and play battlegrounds after getting up situating uh, kids going to work coming home dinner kids to bed what ends up happening is alternate wins and losses makes uh, make no progress on victory track advancement and just feel like i wasted 30 minutes to an hour of playtime. having this happen over and over is just really uh, really kills your drive makes me feel like in terms of being able to improve uh, my roster uh, with the tokens in the store and just frustrating state of mind in regards to battlegrounds which is weird because i'm in i'm in a similar kind of state at the moment not so much with battlegrounds to a degree, but I'll kind of go over that in a minute. I'm a Paragon with a roster of rank 4s, uh, rank 3 6 stars, and can't get our silver 3 at the moment. Uh, I lose uh, matches for various reasons, playing poorly, bad draft, better competition, etc. Having to string the three times wins together is what is really killing things for me. I wish there was a better way for progression outside uh, of buying shields for every single match. I don't know, just my uh, stream of thoughts about where I am at with Battlegrounds generally and feel free to reply with good bag, ugly, such like that. Uh, and that's the thing, Battlegrounds is very much like an experience in player to player. I massively dislike the game mode at first. As things were kind of improved month in, month out, I'm slowly slowly getting like into a really good uh, rhythm and place with it. I've not been able to play much uh, at the moment, and that is because I've got a very strict deadline. I'm wearing today my um, my Final Strike Games uh, hoodie, which you can see right there. Uh, I've got to start work uh, straight after this. And, but it's a similar position I'm in with um, this particular player, Give Me A Beer, in that I've got a lot of stuff to do deadlines-wise. Like for now, it's like it's just coming up to midday UK time, and I'll be working for the next ten hours. I want to say on stuff, um, which has to be done. I've got a very hard deadline of Friday for something, and a soft deadline for Wednesday for the uh, first part of it uh, to then see where we're going with kind of the delivery point on Friday. So time is very important, regardless if you're you know looking after kids, uh, work, all that kind of stuff. Time is very important. As I said before, when you invest into Marvel Contest Champions and uh, you are investing your time into it, you want to feel that pain points have been, solu uh, solutions have come from pain points and things have been delivered, uh, you know, uh, correctly and things are going the right way. Battlegrounds is still in the point where it's still in a kind of like soft beta, sorry, cam again. I'm I kind of like, I've got the cam right here. Hello. Um, I've got to fix this setup. I don't have the time. That's the thing. I got to find time to fix my, my setup because the monitors have just literally fallen off the, uh, falling off the, um, the stuff because 
parts have broken. Uh, but again, you got to find time to fix this stuff. I don't have the time, sadly, uh, but it is what it is. So when it comes to battlegrounds, though, you want to feel like you're rewarded with your time that you're investing into said stuff. Now, about a week ago, I decided to kind of give some feedback of how I felt improvements could be made to battlegrounds in a generic sense. And it's not going to be the right opinion. And I'm happy that there would be disagreements to any kind of opinion on how Battlegrounds could go. Because essentially, essentially, it's still in a beta. Like, it's not really been the finished article because it lacks in certain areas. Like, for me, one of the, the key points was I felt that Victory Track is just too long. Like, I, last season, I got up to Diamond and I just kind of, like, felt I've invested too many hours into something that I just didn't feel like I got to a, a point where, look... I should have got in the time. I probably lost about 10, 10 last. So that's about 50, 50 fights. But the biggest problem with that is like, it's just, you've got to identify your gains. Where are you making gains? How's the process? Is the time investment worth what you're getting back for it? Would it be the same of kind of going to um, do, I mean, look, I'm doing EOP. EOP is probably working out to me about uh, two hours worth of investment a time if all things go well. A lot more this time because I'm having to regrind arena to get units to then use to to get revives. So it's a little bit longer this time. But the 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 element of time investment to what you get back from it needs to be very very kind of like in line with that particular stuff. And that's where battlegrounds needs to kind of align itself with that the time investment to what you get out of it. Um, and also not feeling too punished. And let's face it, the first model of Battlegrounds was, in fact, more of a... Uh, what was it? Like, it, not diminishing returns. It was a case of, like, um, you you basically... The the more you participated, the more you got back from it. And I know that then it was kind of people said, well, with skill investment and stuff, you only the best of the best should be in Gladiator Circuit and only the best of the best should be right towards the top of Victory Track. I mean, that's good. I mean, as Dan pointed out from Frontline MCC when we did the, um, we did the podcast... What do a lot of high skill players have to prove being in victory track and having to do it repetitively um, each season, season in and season out? And whether or not there was something of a system they could put in that was allowing players that got to Gladiator Circuit last season a... Not a buy, but um, uh, like a season pass type thing that allowed them to start in a higher up ne uh, the the next season. And I'm sure that there would be people people that would disagree with that one, and that's fine. It's always good to have a difference of opinions. But then again, as I said, like what do these really skilled players, as as Dan, my good friend Dan pointed out, what have they got? What have they got to prove? What does uh, Metal Sonic Dude have to prove being in a uh, victory track? What does the number one player in, Vict in Gladiator Circuit have to? Uh, what do they have to prove being in victory track? You know, they're already skilled enough to kind of like uh, tried tried and tested. They're already there uh, with it. But maybe it's the investment in the meta that is the key thing here. Um, you know, as, as Piccolo uh, says, uh, this meta is just a nuke meta, so there really isn't any strategy. Just get good luck for drawing great counters to your opponent's champions. An easy win. Bigger accounts are better in this meta since all annoying defenders work well and all cheese attackers work well uh, too. So it's just a case of like, is it is it meta on meta? And here's the thing, I really enjoyed the last meta. And I know that's like, it's it's probably like a what's the unpopular opinion on that one, but that, that meta was really good. Uh, I felt that I picked correctly. I felt that my, my route was smoother. It's probably the reason that I kind of, uh, you know, did, I did I did well for the time I invested. I just could not invest any more time into that particular mode. And again, uh, or that particular, um, that season. I'm, I'm still like debating whether or not I'm going to have time to kind of like put any great time into this particular season. Especially when I want to achieve a lot more with uh, EOP, uh, I need to do another run in EOP. But I've got to play. I've got to play better. I can't. The thing is, I can't click a switch and go play better. Oh yeah, that that's how that's how that works. And the same thing with uh, when it comes to battlegrounds. Wins means uh, you get yourself your little medal and uh, three medals, and you're into the next uh, the next particular tier. So yeah, it's uh, it's always a bit of a risky one. The tricky thing that always comes with Battlegrounds is the, the shift in meta, as we, as we just learned. Uh, but as well, the other side of things, as I've said in the, the past when kind of addressing new metas, is that it's all well and good. I'm happy for Kabam to put in new metas, and I think it does spice up the, uh, the mode. It's great, 
But in doing that, you have to really give players more when it comes to rank up resources and rank up items. I'm sure Caban would say we do that, but you don't when it comes to the competitive edge of this particular mode, especially if you're if you're a free-to-play player going up against the well and a player that's able to stack a roster of higher rank ups, then maybe they've had access to you know funds and kind of ability, not ability, the personal ability, the personal kind of like, you know well to get their champions ranked up and especially hitting the current meta yeah and okay kabam need money for the successful mobile game that they have uh, but at the same time it's a terrible double-edged sword then to how it affects other players trying to get up metas and it's not just paragon uh there are lower players as well uh, affected by this especially when they're like Look, i've ranked up a load of five stars for this particular content oh dear, now I've got to rank up more five stars to then do uh, Battlegrounds metas month in, month out. And I guess that's the, the thing that Kabam want to say nowadays. And this is the new the new thing from Kabam. You don't have to do everything or there's no kind of like push to do everything nowadays. And that's really the, the thing that's kind of like, is getting, it's kind of making me a little bit kind of like miserable about trying to keep up that like I, I probably will burn out at some point this year we're trying to always get everything done i've said to this month i'm not doing throne breaker i'm going to focus on eop uh, whether or not that was a good idea or bad a bad idea I, I don't really know uh but uh yeah that's just kind of like where i'm at with where i'm chasing a lot of the stuff that's in the throne breaker difficulty uh i can get through other means quite easily but at the same time what's in eop at the moment for karina's challenges and that is that rank five uh gem which seems like more appetizing for me to kind of go and chase so that's kind of like where my focus is secondary to that is doing battlegrounds as the the next thing and with uh how much time have we got we have got ourselves 15 days uh so i'm gonna like start grinding on that very very soon i've done well i haven't really done much to be honest uh but i always make my uh my play my my kind of like push towards say uh the last week to two weeks as soon as i've finished off with eop um i'm gonna go uh not eop 100 but uh, eop from a point of view of getting another uh get, getting like another Karina's challenge done i'll be then kind of going back and, and doing it but again it's just down to time and what i what i want to focus on what i personally enjoy which is you know that's the key thing you have to always kind of look towards what you enjoy in marvel contest of champions and this is where give me a beer is actually you know it, this is kind of refreshing to see this talk it's always important to see like you know players talk. and the great thing about it is like it's not directed at it's kind of like Oh, come on, bad, come on, angry, or kind of like in a point, or, or delivered in a different point. It's just basically, it's it's somebody explaining their situation and how they're doing the best they can uh, within the game, and they're basically saying, look, this is this is a pain point for me, and this is a point of like this way has been some um, great kind of like discussion points, and I think that's 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 the great thing um about this um from this especially with you know give me a try saying like the process but as well kind of like um that's you know we're talking at the time that's over an hour of play time that is essentially wasted to me that's the real issue i want to feel like my time is well spent and right now with the way matching and advancing is done requiring three times battle tokens i really don't feel like i'm using any uh, using my limit limited game time wisely trying to advance in in battlegrounds and that's the thing with the new game mode which is a great game mode by the way we're not kind of like overly slating that we're just slating the time and as i said very early on like the the, the grind time is is very important for for players like how much time you have on a daily basis is going to be um you know really important i'm like just looking at the time then and i've i've got 30 minutes before i've got to start so i've got to get this video completed as soon as possible time is very very important pretty much the same situation as the original post but i've just won eight out of ten and have climbed to gold one it feels like it's starting to even out a little and again that may be just down to when you start this is the 18th of february when this is posted but then again if all those people have gone up to the top it kind of feels like maybe the the way to kind of like deal with this is the time investment should be towards the end of the month with all the kind of like um the sweats or the highly skilled players or the uh whatever you want to call them the highly skilled people in the game if they've gone up the um uh, the ranks the tiers then this is going to be your time towards the last two weeks to start making those gains uh, so we're looking at you know from a different point of view of how you kind of tackle this or how you kind of weave yourself as a player uh, to make the most of your time um and to get guaranteed wins However, though, 
by doing that, you're st we're still kind of like in a round circle because you'll be stomping on the people that are unable to make those gains from a lower end. So yeah, uh, good news but bad news with that particular um, thought process. The final thoughts I want to leave you with is this game can be a little bit of a mental health kind of like suck, especially if, you know, you're not having a good time playing or there's stuff that's gone wrong with the game. If you're not playing well and the game's not responding very well, all those particular elements do become a bit of a bugbear and a frustration. And that's just really the, the problem with, with any kind of gaming, really. I think even worse when it comes to uh, mobile gaming, especially when you just like it's, it's overly grindy. It's not like a casual game type thing. And yeah, people do play on the casual when it comes to the game. But a lot of the time you feel like you are, you are chasing something in particular. It makes it worse with a competitive element because then you feel like you're chasing a particular like uh, rank in this whole, whole kind of like situation. And it's like it does go back to stuff that myself, Dan, Vega have even said. It's all about like like finding your fun within game and it's really tough i mean i'm not really kind of like at that point at the moment where um i'm i'm, I'm knowing what i want to achieve i mean I, I do know but then the the way to go about it is like you got to play good you got to play well and i'm just not playing well at the moment and that's a problem that's a, that's a problem with it. it all kind of encompasses in a way that's like if i'm not playing well if you're not getting wins in battlegrounds you're not making any gains and it's just kind of like saying if you like the game then you have to like take a step back and go well can i find fun elsewhere to kind of make myself still interested um with the game in a different area uh, and still kind of like go okay like i get it. it it is what it is and that's really the thing when it comes to like battlegrounds and even as uh, dna says and as a lot of people say uh if you stick to get the every other day battlegrounds objective those have significant amount of rewards promotion has more uh, of course but chasing promotion under the current system is a recipe for burnout but taking what you can get and then stepping away and allow your allow to get reasonable haul of battlegrounds rewards with a far less stress this in combination with uh, one above um, might be the best way to survive the current iteration of the matchmaker until Sena systems prevail. And that's, that's a very good point. There's still a lot of work this game mode needs. For me, I do feel that, like more uh, victory shield should be offered within uh, a lower cost of trophy tokens in the, the store. I think the store needs to be revamped to be a bit more fairer, especially for rank up resources. To, to acquire for for going against the current metas. There's a lot of things that could be done with the particular game mode. It's a really great game mode, but it needs a lot of work. It just doesn't feel like it's a, the, as I've said before, I mean, Dan have said this, it does feel like it's a game mode in a current beta uh, that doesn't really seem that it's kind of like reached the point of going, hey, there you go. We're happy with this. The game mode is done. Especially with bugs, and especially when it comes to um, just the kind of overall feeling about making progression with it. But, um, hey, as uh, I would agree, Matchmaker, you know, we've got Sane Systems prevail with, with it. We've got to end on a positive and look towards the future. I wish Caban the best in kind of putting the, making the game mode a little bit more fairer. Um, enjoyable. Uh, it's in, it is enjoyable. I'd say fairer is probably the, the kind of like fairer for the casuals, fairer for the high end grinders, um, and finding it a, a good kind of like a midway point to manage expectations when it comes to what players want to see and what Kabam want to deliver. So uh, I wish Kabam the best with that one. Uh, and yeah, try not to burn out. That's the main thing. And uh, take little steps as you can. Take those little wins, those little wins, um, as the big wins uh, when it comes to the game mode. But yeah, what are your thoughts on Battlegrounds? Uh, what's your thoughts on time management with Battlegrounds? Thoughts in the comment section. Check out some other content located on screen right now. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.